Everyone, this is it. This is the challenge today, the postage stamp poll challenge that I'm taking part in. Thanks to everybody who has contributed with a guess. You've still got time if you want to try and win a dozen tailor-made TP5 balls. All you've got to do is comment quickly uh, before I start hitting shots into the eighth hole at Royal Troon, more famously known as the postage stamp. And just a reminder, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's 10 shots I'm going to hit. And the closest ball that I get to the pin will have a distance in centimetres or more likely for me today, metres. And uh, the person who guesses the closest will win a dozen of the tailor-made TP5 balls. So well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make my way out onto the range and uh, just show you what it's about. Give you the chance to A, join the broadcast and to get your guessing if you haven't already. Just a reminder, good morning, Alan. It is only one guess per person, and I uh, will be keeping an eye on it to see that nobody's guessing after I started hitting the ball. So we're out here on the range today. I've been out here early this morning picking balls, and also I didn't realise how windy it was yesterday. We lost our windsock, but I managed to retrieve it from the far corner of the range. But you'll see today by looking at the windsock, there is barely a breath of wind. The two wind turbines over on the left there and not turning at all. A very, very rare still day here in Fraserburgh. Now, in theory, that should give me an advantage hitting into the postage stamp without having to factor in a strong wind. But, of course, I've still got to hit the green. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit nervous about this. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a bit of a cold. Um, am I using the TaylorMade MG4 Allen? I do have those in my bag, but like a Wally Chop, I was up here this morning knowing I had a lot of work to do, picking balls, and I've been painting the flags as well, giving them a, a bit of a freshen up, and I completely forgot to bring my clubs from home. So what I've done is I've just pinched uh, an SM10 50 degree wedge, which I'm hoping is going to be the right club. I've not actually got warmed up or anything today, so if you haven't yet guessed your distance, you might want to factor in these things that I've not warmed up, there's no wind, and I'm not used to playing without a wind. Anybody who golfs in this part of the world, you get a day like this where it's completely still, totally throws you. Used to having at least a 20 mile an hour breeze, um, but in complete still conditions, I don't know what's going to happen here today. So anyway, who watched the golf yesterday? I'm sure lots of you did. It was a fantastic uh, final day, in my opinion. The most noticeable thing for me was just how good they are from like a hundred yards in you know they get out of position but those shots into the greens from like 50 yards dancing around the pin just quite incredible and you know i knew it anyway how good they are from that range but just to see it on that stage you know under that pressure being able to control the speed of the club to send that ball and the spin control as well more than impressive and certainly for me not playing that much golf these days the first thing that goes is that ability to hit that yardage when it's less than a full shot. But thankfully for me today, this is a full shot. <coughs> Excuse me, I bought some water out. Like I said, I've got some, something on my chest. It's not an excuse, man. And don't forget, the person who gets it nearest today is going to win this dozen TP5 balls. So you've got about 30 seconds or so to get your guesses in before I start hitting shots. And most of you will know about the Top Tracer range. There's a lot of it advertised. In fact, Top Tracer with the uh, key tracking technology at the open. But here is our range. I've signed into the screen. And today we're going to closest to the pin. And just scroll across to find Royal Troon. There we go. It's 120 yards long. And I'm going to aim for the pink flag. I do like going for the pink flag white tyre. It kind of stands out for me. But also, I know that if I fly it just over that, it's going to be the perfect distance for this shot. So also, while I remember, um, don't forget this evening, um, about half past seven, I'm doing the draw for our open mega draw on dunescomps.co.uk. That's D-U-N-E-S, comps.co.uk, all one word. You've got a chance to win £1,600 worth of prizes for just a £5 ticket fee. Now, your ticket gets you in all four draws. So just to go through that with you very quickly, we're drawing for a brand new custom fitted driver. We've got a Scotty Cameron putter. We've got a tailor-made QI10 tour bag. 
and we've got three dozen Pro V1s or any other ball of your choice. There are cash alternative prizes for all of those things that are on offer. So after this, after you've watched this live, head to junescomps.co.uk, get the last few tickets remaining. And also on the website, you'll see yesterday I put up the very, very special tailor-made open tour bag that you'll have seen the tailor-made staff players uh, sporting around the course at the Open this last few days. Really is a thing of beauty. I would say quite comfortably the best one that they've ever produced. And it could be yours for just £2 this coming Friday at the very latest. Now, it seemed quite popular yesterday. We sold a lot of tickets during the Open coverage for the bag yesterday. So if you fancy it, Go on there, £2 a ticket. You can actually get multi-buy and save some money as well. Right then, folks. I'm going to call time on the guesses. I saw Neil Leslie there put in 1.5 metres. Um, do we have any more guesses just looking through this today? I think that was the only other guess on the live. But Neil Leslie at 1.5 metres, that was the last guess that I'm going to accept. Now, what I'm going to do, ideally, I would have some technology where I could broadcast both me hitting the ball and the screen at the same time. But I don't have that, so I'm gonna go a bit of a manual job, hit the shot, pick up the camera, take it to the screen so you can see it. Um, if it's a really bad one, I might not pick up the camera and show you it though, but who knows? Anyway, <coughs> quick drink of water. 120 yards, what club would you be hitting? No wind. I've got this 50 degree wedge. Let's see if it's enough. Couple of practice swings. Just loosen the old muscles and bones, and we'll see how we get on. So here we go, folks. Good luck, everyone. Try and show you that. Quickly grab the camera before it gets down. Oh, it's on the green. It's not a bad start. Six foot three. Do you know what? I'd take that. Maybe I should just stop now. I did change this to um, metres, but it's defaulted back, sadly, to feet and inches. But not to worry, because I've set the leaderboard up in the, uh, in the shop, displaying it as metres. So, um, Alan can't remember his guess. Well, let's hope it was six foot three, Al, or whatever that is, in metres and, uh, and centimetres, because, I'll be honest... <coughs> <coughs> Certainly for a first shot, I'm very happy with that. Will I get closer? Well, let's find out. So, six foot three for me to be. Definitely the right club, this. Perfect yardage. Let's have a look at that one then, folks. This is go number two. Again, perfect. Perfect length, 9 foot 11. <coughs> Let's be fair. I think uh, even those guys playing yesterday would have took both of them shots. <coughs> Go number three then. That little shot is that little fade into the green. I like it. Seven foot four. Okay, so let's keep going. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing, folks. I've got, like I said, if you're just joining, something from my chest. <coughs> Excuse me. sure about that one is it going to be a bit left again is it no no it's not bad well we've had four goes and i've hit the green four times i'll be honest with you folks my biggest fear today was finishing the challenge with missed green as the nearest i don't think anyone did guess that i did give you permission to do that but nobody did Right, here we go, so, just a fraction further to the right. Oh, 
Just hold it a bit. It's going to be the same. Probably on the green. <coughs> but you can see there, just left 15 feet away. That's my worst shot of the day so far. But I keep saying it. If that was me playing the postage stamp, I'd be more than happy with those five shots. So six foot three is my best so far. Let's see if we can get it. Much closer, and I see a few guesses of like 15 centimeters. I saw this morning. I'm not sure um, what the closest guess was, but I don't even know what is six foot three. What's that in meters and centimeters? I've no idea. To be well, I have, but I don't embarrass myself with a guess that's way off. So, if you can do a conversion, someone and comment what six foot three in metres and centimetres, just Google it. Right, we're halfway through. Five balls to go. There we go. Oh, I like it. That's a good one. That's got to be good. Go. Oh, he spun and stopped short. Look, it was right on line. Seven feet away. In fact, just while I remember, I just saw, I think, that, um, well, there we go, Alan's put 1.905 metres. And Dave Stewart, hey, I was going to say, Dave, he's on the live. So, huge congratulations to Dave Stewart. Yesterday, we had the conclusion of our week-long closest to pin on Royal Troon. And Dave, has got a hole in one. So, well done, Dave. Big uh, congratulations, mate. Um, you've won that. It's a really cool prize, actually. It's a top tracer, like cooler backpack. I don't actually think you can buy them. Uh, we got sent them by Top Tracer a little while ago, and it's really, really good. I think it has. It's got a 12 can punk IPA capacity, Dave. So it's about right for a round of golf, there, mate. So well done, and um, we'll get that to you as soon as we can. Right here we go. Four balls to go. 1.9 meters is currently my best shot according to you guys. That's going to be short. It's online again, but didn't quite strike it. There it is, look. 15 foot, oh, 14, 10. So 15 foot something's my worst one so far, but out of seven balls, seven on that little slither off a green. I maybe should start playing this game. Right, here we go. Alan can't find his guess. Maybe he didn't have a guess, Alan. Or maybe he didn't put the guess on the event. I don't know. I'll find it if it's there. Right, come on. I really want a really close one. Oh, that is all over it like cheese on a Big Mac. Go, spin. Oh, it's my new best. <coughs> Four foot six. Come on, guys, do your thing. Get on that Google conversion. And uh, what's Alan saying here? He did guess. He can't find it. Okay, well, go on then. What's uh, four foot six, guys, in metric? Let me know. Because that is my new best with two shots to go. <coughs> just get that bit of grass off the board. You never know. Might just influence it. So four foot six, what we're saying? Has anyone anyone done the conversion yet? Right, come on. I've got my range here. Short. Right, that's it again. But it's way short. Wasn't a great strike. There we go, look. Look at that. 10 feet short. 9 foot 11 short, and I'm complaining. What's happened to this guy? A non golfer. 1.375 is what I was saying. Or 1.371. Well, I've got one ball left, folks. So somebody. If they've looked back through the comments, we'll be thinking, Pete, quite likely to shank this and 
not get any nearer, but there'll also be a number of you going around. Come on, Pete, you've got to get it nearer for me. So let's see what happens. The final ball. Can't really. I've got the yardage. I've just got to just get that one good shot. Come on. No. Gave it a little bit more that one, but I've just leaked it right. But it's still on the green. First one that finished slightly right. And it finished, uh, what's that? 15 feet away, that last one. So, folks, that's the end of the challenge. Now, what I'm going to do is just go into the shop and take a look at the leaderboard. Take the, uh, the prize with me. I'll be honest. Pretty chuffed with that. 10 out of 10 on the green. I know it's only 120 yards and I've only got a 50 degree wedge, so really should hit the green every time, but still got to do it, which I did. Now, just while I walked through the shop, I decided I'm going to keep our little offer of 100 free Top Tracer range balls with every item of clothing and footwear from Adidas and Under Armour for another week. So <coughs> if you've liked what you've seen there today on the uh, Top Tracer and you want to come down and give it a go, Good idea, buy a shirt for 35 quid, get a tenner's worth of balls completely free. Uh, can't be bad, eh? So, there we go. There is the official score, 1.36 metres. So, I don't know if you can have a look and see if you can see through the comments and let me know who's won. But, uh, I will be doing that very, very shortly. Now, time's clocking on, quarter to ten, we open at ten. We're open till 8 o'clock today and every day through the week. It'll be lovely to see you. This is that tour bag I was on about. Um, as you can see, in fact, I better take that sign off it because it's no longer for sale because somebody is going to win it this coming Friday. And I'll tell you what, it really is a thing of beauty. And before you disappear, reminder, this is our draw this evening. You've got this QI10 tour bag. You've got a Scotty Cameron putter, three dozen uh, Titus Pro V1s. And your choice of new driver. That is our open mega draw taking place this evening about half past seven. It did say it's o'clock, but I'm going to do it a little bit earlier. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks to everybody for taking part and putting a guess in. It's a bit of fun and a chance, of course, to win a dozen free balls worth £45. That's it for me, folks. I'll announce the winner on socials very soon. Bye for now.